We are back with Batiste and Jake at Millennia MMA as promised. They're going to take a few minutes to show us the finer points of a great ground game. And who better to demonstrate than the masters themselves <laughs> and yours truly. You heard that right. This is all me. Batiste, will you go ahead and show us, walk us through a couple of moves? Okay. Um, one common finish you'll see in uh, a lot of fights is a uh, uh, rear naked choke on the ground. Um, I'm gonna have Jake sit down for me. Uh, right here. What you wanna do when you're buying somebody is you always wanna hook your feet first, okay? Stick your, uh, you gotta make sure you're sticking your chest to your opponent's back and your chin is gonna be hanging out around the shoulder, okay? Uh, next thing I'm going to do is put him in what's called the seat belt. Seat belt is one arm over, one arm underneath his armpit. One arm over the shoulder, one arm underneath. Hand that goes underneath goes over the hand that's over his shoulder, and I'm going to hang on to him like this. And uh, in this position, usually when your opponent uh, tries to escape this position, they're going to pull down on this arm here which shoots this, gives me the opportunity to shoot this across. And then I pull this out. My hand goes on my bicep. I turn my other hand backwards, slipping it behind his head. My chin comes on top and then I squeeze. My elbows together and it chokes him out. Are you ready to try it? As ready as I'll ever be. All right. <laughs> Have a seat, Jake. So, you're gonna sit on your butt, you're gonna get the hooks in there, and now you're gonna put them in the seat belt. Put them here and underneath. Get a grip, oh, hug, okay. like a little monkey. There you go. Now, what I want Jake to do is, Jake, I want you to roll, roll around a little bit so you see how important it is to have your legs in. Roll all the way through, all the way through. See how she could stay on his back? Roll, roll, roll. Keep rolling around. Ta-da. Ta-da. And back. Now, Sammy, I want you to finish the choke. Okay. Grab my bicep. No. He's going to pull it down there. Okay. So you're going to have to come here and turn this backwards, slip it behind his head. Uh, put this inside here, nice and tight. Chin down, squeeze your elbows together. Choke. And that's the rear naked choke. So Batiste, tell us a little bit what's going on here. What are you gonna do next? Well, what I'm gonna do usually, you'll see MMA fights in this position. I have him in what's called the guard. Most fans are pretty hip to this already. They got a good idea of it. And uh, I'm gonna go into a triangle choke as well from this position. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna grab both of his wrists because I don't want him to hit me, right? If I control his hands, it's gonna be hard for him to land punches on me. Now people tend to reach back to throw punches at me. See how he'll kind of reach back like that? I'm gonna put this foot here and I'm gonna cross my feet, okay? Now, I'm gonna go inside control, pull this elbow over. This is my stick shift, okay? okay. You gotta make sure the car's in gear before you drive a stick shift, right? Right, Next, Good I'm thing gonna I go to stick. the steering wheel. With this hand, I grab my own shin. Now I put my foot in the clutch. I hit the clutch and I turn the steering wheel as I'm holding the stick in gear. Now I can release the clutch and pull, put it on the gas, interlock, and lift my hips up. That's the triangle choke. Talk about aggressive driving. So one more time. <laughs> He reaches up to punch me. I shoot my leg, right? I'm gonna drag his elbow across. What's this? That's your stick shift. Good. 
Now I'm going to grab what? Your clutch? Steering wheel. Oh, your steering wheel. You're going to turn hard. <laughs> and this is the... The clutch. Put it in gear. Lock it. That's the gas. Pinch my knees together. Interlock my fingers behind his head. Lift my hips up. And that's the triangle choke. You Good want to, to try know. It? And now I'm hoping you're going to walk me through this step by step. I will. All right, let's do it. All right, guys, don't worry. I'll go easy on it. We're back with Matisse and Jake, and they're going to show us how to do a triangle choke. Okay, Sam is on her back in the guard position. Her legs are wrapped around Jake's uh, waist. When you're on your back, if you get put on your back in a fight, this is the position that you actually want to make sure you put the top opponent in. Feet crossed around the waist. Wrist control. She's controlling both wrists. As soon as Jake reaches up to punch her with the right hand, she's going to pull her left leg in and over, crossing her feet immediately. Once the feet are, are, are across, that is, that's establishing control. Now she's gonna do what's called an arm drag to Jake's left arm, pulling it all the way across, reaching over the tricep, pinching it into her hip bone. She's gonna grab her left shin with her hand, right foot goes in the hip, kick, pull that shin hard, and now you're gonna finger for your knee over your ankle. So you're gonna lock your knee over your ankle. You're gonna kick down hard. You're gonna interlock your fingers, put them behind your opponent's head, lift your hips up and pull his head down. That's the choke. He's choking right now. Triangle. All right. All right, IEMMA, we'll be back with more awesome moves in just a second.